Canada. Good morning. Um, and welcome to new, the new resident experience cycle. But I, uh, I have been in the business for a long time. And I started out in the, the rental agent position with the property. And, uh, and then I worked my way up into training. And then at 24 years old, I started my own company 30 years ago to build and design and to train programs. And I'm so excited today to have an opportunity to do two things. First of all, I'm hoping that you'll give me a chance, and it really is up to you, to life coach you, to share some life lessons, some interesting perspectives, some information that is just kind of good truth that is good for us to live by to remind us because I think we personally make a big impact on things and um, and how you feel matters <laughs> to everyone around you and so we all kind of <clears throat> influence each other and then the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce you to a new resident experience cycle and some fabulous trends because you only get to go with what you know and I don't know about you but I like to be the best anybody like to be the best you know, I want to be the best. I mean, a second best is not going to work for me. And so um, I want to be the best. And so I'm going to show you what the very, very best are doing and give you an opportunity to, the, the program today is called Reaching New Heights, is to just, let's take it up a notch, you know. Let's be better than anybody else in Canada. Let's be the very, very best. And let's make sure that when people come into one of your communities, that very quickly they sense that this is a different kind of experience that they're going to have. And you really orchestrate that. Think about this. How many times have you gone to buy a product and you were looking at what the company said about the product, right? And the company said, solid hardwood, you're looking at a table. It's mahogany. It's beautiful. It's hand-hewn. It's got breath, blah, 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 right? And then underneath it at the bottom, here's a consumer, and the consumer says, broke the third day. What are you going to do? You're going to believe the company and buy the product? Or are you going to believe somebody you've never even met and literally disengage with that search and go find another table? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. How many of you would literally disengage? Like you're done at that point. Bad reviews turn you away from the product, right? So knowing that, I really want you to get that because the foundation of the future of marketing is going to be found in the consumer's voice. Is it not what we've said about our property, but what our residents have said about our property? And if that's true, before we build that road to open up ways for people to talk about us, we better give them something to talk about that's good, right? You need to know that every single thing that you do, everything that you plant in front of your building, everything that you publish, everything you print, Everything you post, upload, and say defines one very important thing. It defines who is attracted to your property. Who's attracted to your property? How many of you, on a personal note, have ever had a person that you felt should not be attracted to you be attracted to you? <laughs> and you're like, why do you think I'm interested in you? You know, I mean, you're like, I am not looking at you. I am not looking at you. You know, and you're like, what did I do to make you think this was for you? <laughs> Where is the ribbon and the bow that was connected to you? You know, but the truth is that we attract things. Do you agree with that? And the better you are, the better you attract, true? The better you attract. So I like cold, you know, I like cold. So we're out of P.F. Chang. Towards the end of the meal, my client calls him over and she says to him that she likes some hot tea. Oh, you have no idea how nasty that sounded to me. I was like, oh, no, bring me another glass of very cold Chardonnay. <laughs> want some cold wine, you know? And, and so um, he doesn't just go and, and, and tell her about the teas. He goes and gets the menu. And what I did is I screenshotted the, uh, the menu so you could see it. Because look at these teas. Look at what they say. To, I mean, look at this. It's um, white tangerine. It's dragon eye oolong, what the, what the heck is that? Robust with safflower, peach, and apricot, right? But my friend was looking over here at citrus spice, and she says to Ryan, 
What did that taste like? This very pretty young man leaned over to my client and said, Why, ma'am, that tastes like Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm in sales and marketing, right? So I'm like, really? You know, I'm kind of like teasing him. I'm like, seriously? And he turns it on me. And without hesitation, he says to me, that's right. It's spicy and full of surprises. <laughs> I was like, oh, my, my. I said, well, brew it up. And then I sit down and then put some Captain Morgan in it and bring me some. <laughs> you know, I'm like, but here's the thing I want you to get. Oh, he put a want on me. I did not want hot tea, but he took his words and he described it in a way that he reversed my decision, didn't he? You see, your words matter. What do you say it is? I actually was um, talking to an apartment person and you can't make this stuff up, okay? <laughs> and this person says to me on the phone, I'm asking for a two bedroom apartment. And she says to me, we have a two by two. I'm thinking me and Jesus won't even fit in a two-by-two. Two. <laughs> Isn't that a piece of wood from Home Depot? I mean, that's how Noah loaded the ark, all right? Two-by-two. Two. And I say to her, what is a two-by-two? Two? And she says, that's our two-bedroom, two-bath. I said, why didn't you say it was the two-bedroom, two-bath? Because we call it a two-by-two. Two. I was like, oh, my God. These are people who suck and don't know it. <laughs> and, 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 um... I call this other property, and guess what? They have an A1. What is an A1? That's steak sauce. You know, I mean, like, there's steak sauce at the apartment building, but you got Christmas morning at P.F. Chang, you know? Why wouldn't somebody say, I've got two really great floor plans? Let's talk about your family and who's coming and what you got, and we'll figure out which one is laid out best for you guys, okay? Right? Wouldn't that be better? And here's the biggest question, does what you say matter? Yes. And so I want you to understand that words sell. I mean, what you say absolutely positions it. I love conversation. You know why? Because presentation be can become rote. You can do a presentation without thinking because you know it so well. And if you memorize and say the same thing, you might as well be like one of those flight attendants that says our pool's conveniently located right here. Emergency exits are on the left and right. You know, I mean, it's like, you know, you don't want to do that. Um, I've also noticed that when people are, when I go and shop properties, that people are talking to me. And then when they go into their spiel or their presentation, they literally, they'll do this. They'll go, okay. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it is, but it like it like turns on the recording. But you watch for it, watch for it, because they'll be talking to you, and then when they go, they'll go, okay, we're conveniently located next to the major freeway systems, and they off they go, you know. And then what's fun is when they get into their spiel, interrupt them <laughs> with like a goofy question. I'll say like, what's that over there? And this one girl says to me, that's the mailboxes. I'm not there yet. Hold on, okay. And she started over. I'm like, no, you didn't. She started over. I want you to challenge to see how much of your tour is conversation and how much of your tour is presentation. And just notice when you slip into it, okay? And, and, and just try to be more. Don't you think people would prefer a conversation with you than a presentation? You know, that's why some speakers that just present are so boring. You've been to seminars where it was a presentation because that person doesn't even have to be present for it. You know, I mean, and so they can just disappear on you and not have their hurt all out there talking about their kids and stuff they do, okay? But today we covered awareness, consideration, and the lease. Do you feel like you've got kind of a new opportunity to go out there and re-engineer that experience for your consumer in a different way, a different path, a different route, a gift when they purchase, and a great new resident packet? So how'd I do today? Is that good? Woo!